As many in Zimbabwe and around the world witness the funeral service of the former president Robert Mugabe, his nephew Patrick Joao opted not to even view the proceedings. Joao has been living in South Africa since November 2017 and says he will never be able to go back home due to political persecution. This goes beyond me as an individual. It goes beyond me as Patrick Joao. Uh, it talks to all Zimbabweans that are not in Zimbabwe, all Zimbabweans that are in the diaspora for economic reasons, for political reasons. Uh, all Zimbabweans that uh, in my similar uh, situation have not been able to go home and bury loved ones. Joao says ever since what he and many have called the silent coup in Zimbabwe, there is a sense of fear in the country by those who were loyal to Mugabe. It's, it's, a, it's a bit unfortunate that uh, uh, Mnangagwa tends to have a, a, a rather vindictive uh, uh, temperament. Uh, he is very, very deceptive and, um, you know, he is proud of the moniker that he has of being a crocodile. So knowing that uh, if Emerson Munangagwa can turn, can turn against President Mugabe that he worked with for over 40 years, what about some of the other people that uh, he was not even close to? So there is uh, a real fear. But he says he is satisfied with the way the funeral arrangements have been handled by the Mugabe family. And unfortunately, it is not a process that uh, is open to the public. It is not a process that is open to the media. But traditionally, what would have happened, what, what is supposed to happen when a chief passes away is that uh, no one knows that a chief has passed away. Uh, it's only a very, very small group that know that the chief has passed away. Everybody will be told, no, 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 the chief is not well. Uh, he will be laid to rest. Uh, and um, then maybe two, three months later, that's when the news would then come out. Uh, so the way uh, Leo is handling the process uh, is absolutely top notch. Meanwhile, some Zimbabweans also living in South Africa and were not able to make the funeral service have praised the fallen leader, saying he remains their hero. This was a great man, not only in Zimbabwe, but in Africa. He liberated us from colonialism, so I respect him very much. Mugabe, uh, he was my hero. He is an African hero. He is a leader, despite of the things that he have done, wrong things and so forth, but uh, we still regard him as... Uh, our father, our president, our greatest hero here in Africa. He was a, a true father. He turned on the imitator, the vision about about to Zimbabwe, about to become Nyam. Konogo, I can't forget it. I can't forget it. The former statesman will be laid to rest in the next 30 days at a mausoleum which will be erected at the Hero's Acre. The Newsroom Africa on Channel 405, I'm Bali Tetani in Johannesburg.